I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss the construction of transformer. Construction is very simple. What are the components which are made up of transformer? The major component of transformer I have already shown in the diagram. We have transformer core and we have transformer winding. Apart from that, we have different type of components like uh, relay, uh, then Bachelors relay, transformer oil or transformer oil tank, then uh, then temperature gauge, tank out. These are the supplementary components. I will give you the details. Uh, let us move on to the discussion. First of all, I would like to discuss about uh, what is a transformer core. As you can see, the transformer core. See, uh, transformer core ensure the movement of the magnetic flux. So usually transformer core is made up of with silicon steel. Uh, the main purpose is to minimize the eddy current loss. Apart from that, silicon steel will be having very less value of hysteresis. So that hysteresis value loss also will be very less. Uh, if I talk about the thickness, it is very minute, 0 0.5, 0 0.35 millimeter to 0.5 mm. Okay. Also, there are two type of transformer core. One is uh, shell type transformer core. Other one is core type. Okay. Let us uh, move on to the uh, details about the two type of transformer. Okay. Yes. It is very clear that there are two type of transformer. One according to the core construction, one is tra core type transformer, which, is, which will be having the two limbs, uh, as you can observe in the diagram. Uh, it will provide the better cooling. And uh, we have like uh, low power application. It is mainly suitable for the low power application. Where if you want to go for like a, a high power application, you go ahead with the shell type transformer. We'll be making a separate video on what is the difference between core type transformer and shell type transformer. So if I talk about the shell type transformer, which will be having the better mechanical strength and where it is uh, like uh, windings are surrounded by the core. In the first case, it was core was surrounded by the winding. Second one is winding was surrounded by the core and which is used to for like a power supplies or audio transformer, industrial application, etc. If I talk about the winding, we are using that copper winding and uh, windings are connected to the primary side and the secondary side, which is very clear. Okay, usually windings are made up of with the copper, which will be giving the better conductivity. Even you can go ahead with the aluminum also. Uh, moving on to the further details, I would like to discuss about the insulation system. So here we are going to provide like a suitable insulation, uh, like to prevent the short circuit. Usually the materials such as varnish, paper, oil, epoxy resin, these are the material which is uh, usually provide the insulation. That is also very clear. And also it prevent the short circuit ultimately. If I talk about like a, a transformer tank and cooling system, for small transformer, air cooling is more than sufficient. But uh, if I talk about like a high transformer, which will be having like a tank is also available because the construction is very big. Such kind of cases like air, air based cooling is not sufficient. We'll be going for like a uh, oil based uh, tra transformer uh, cooling system, right? And if I talk about like a bushings, bushing you can see in the diagram. Here bushing is a part where the connections are taking out. You can observe very clearly. Okay, it is actually uh, provided for the insulated support. Usually porcelains are the material which is used for like insulation support. That's also clear. Okay, uh, now I will be discussing about like a conservator. So moving on to the discussion, I'll be talking about the uh, conservator. The conservator where like a uh, transformer oil is uh, getting stored. Okay. So there will be special type of indicator. Uh, the like, uh, it depends. The expansion will be depending on the like uh, temperature rise. So along with the conservator, there will be like a breather. So silica gel is actually used for uh, like a breather, which will absorb the moisture and keep the oil dry. That's also important. If there are some moisture content, the quality will be uh, spoiled. Other one is actually called a uh, cooling and protection features. We have like radiators. You can see the radiators and fins. It is a mechanical construction. Uh, it is mainly for the large transformer for additional cooling. And there will be one Bachelors relay. I already shown in the diagram at the beginning. Uh, that will like, uh, it's a gas operated relay. So that will be mentioning the protection based on the mercury level. Okay. Similarly, we have like expansion vent, which prevents excessive pressure buildup. And we have like a tap changer, like uh, to adjustment of the output voltage by changing the number of turns. There will be like on-load tap changer as well as off-load tap changer. These are the major components which I already discussed. So uh, basically there is no moving part in the transformer uh, because of that uh, the efficiency of the transformer is very high and the construction is very compact and which will ensure the reliable operations. So let us make a conclusion. In this session, we discussed very briefly about the transformer construction and we covered all the segments including transformer core and the transformer winding. Apart from that, we have discussed the various components as well. If you have any queries, you can ask me. Uh, I can uh, reply through the comment box.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe and share with the people those who are working on this particular domain. Thank you for listening.